Hi, I'm Mari, and welcome to your body weight only boot camp. What you're gonna need today is yourself, your body weight. You're also going to need a mat, and if you have one, grab a bench because we will be using this bench. But if you don't have one, don't worry about it. You can grab a chair, just make sure you place the back of a chair up against a wall. And if you don't have a sturdy chair or a bench, I'll also give you another option to do whenever we do do something on the bench. Grab something to hydrate with as well. This is an hour long class. So the deal is four minutes on, one minute to recover during that minute, you do whatever you want, then we're getting right back into it. I got this by request, so here you go. We'll be alternating from cardio, getting the heart rate up, to some body weight strength exercises. So go ahead, grab all your stuff, and let's get going. Before each five minute block, I'm gonna preview the exercises for you. So first up, we have jump ropes. We're just getting nice and warmed up. So take this block rather easy. Just alternate right and left, or you can find some space underneath the feet. One minute of jump ropes, then we're taking it to your bench for incline mountain climbers. Draw that deep belly button in, one knee in at a time. Your option is to bring it to the ground in a high plank position, rest when needed. After that, third minute, incline push-ups. We're in this incline variation. Elbows stay behind the shoulders as we push it up and down. Your option, bring it to the ground on your knees, and then we have alternating step-ups driving it through the heel right and left. Option with this one is just to take it to a quarter of about an alternating reverse lunge. So here we go. Jump ropes, first minute, let's go. All right. So I'm alternating my feet because this block, I'm considering it your warm up block. The next time we see it, we'll amp it up a notch. So let's take that big, deep, expansive inhale throughout the rib cage. Exhale, draw that deep belly button up and in. This is called a diaphragmatic breath. Inhale, fill up that rib cage. Front sides back. Exhale, draw it up and in. How you doing today? You doing good? Now let's add the arms. Elbows in tight. Going forward. All right, y'all, you asked for it. Don't worry. Drake, this is really easy. We're warming up, so we're building up to it. All right, we have about 10 more seconds, and then we go to those incline mountain climbers. Now, if you don't have a bench or a chair, you're coming to the ground, but let your knees rest whenever you need to. We go in three, two, one, incline mountain climbers. We're taking this kind of slow, warming up the abs, shoulders over the wrists. And if you have a little roundness of the upper spine, that's okay. That just means you're really drawing the deep belly button up and in. What we don't wanna see is this, no core engagement, a little stretch, puts pressure on the lumbar spine. Keep that big breath. Here's your halfway point or halfway through, 30 seconds. Keep this tempo, nice work. Here's your last 15 seconds. And then we go to incline push-ups. We have a minute of these push-ups, so really try to pace yourselves. If you're on the ground, if you don't have a bench, you're doing it on your knees to start. Make sure we don't flare those elbows out to the side, 45 degree angle, let's go. One minute. So we take the elbows back, 45 degrees, behind the shoulders. What I see all the time is this. That kind of hurts the shoulders. It limits your range of motion as well. Inhale to lower, exhale to drive. Take these slow, we don't wanna gas out too quick. We're halfway through, 30 more seconds. Come on, take a deep breath and join me. Keep this tempo, keep looking at the same spot. In 15 seconds, we go to alternating step ups. And if you don't have that bench or sturdy chair, you're just reversing your lunge. One more repetition. Hold, we go to step ups, final minute, then we get a break. Drive through the heel, step it down, switch sides. Make sure you place your entire heel on the bench as you drive it up. Knee behind the second to third big toe. We're really trying to fire up the glutes and hamstrings. 
So if you're doing a reverse lunge, same thing. We should be feeling it in the glutes and hamstrings. Heavy in that heel. Thirty more seconds. We get a full minute to recover after this before we start to amp it up during block two. Fifteen more seconds. Five more seconds, one more rep each side. Ooh, and recover. Nice job, we have one minute to rest. Next block, block two, four exercises, one minute each. Pop squats to rotation. So we're right here in a squat, we bring it up, straighten the legs, and then rotate it. So it's here, squat, rotate heavy in the heels when we bring it down, land light when we touch together. Option, just step it. You don't have to jump. That's your first minute, second minute, back to push-ups, triangle push-up, make a triangle with the hands, elbows behind the shoulders, and we bring it up. After that, bench tap high knees. So we're using the bench to tap. Option, slow down the pace. If you don't have the bench, use your hands as a goal. And then squat to alternating leg lift. Squat, abduct, dorsiflex at the ankle, grab a wall for more support. Here we go, we start with those pop squats to rotation. First minute, so we're right here, tap. On the toes, heavy in the heels. Remember the option, it's just to pivot and squat side to side. Come on, this is our cardio, we're getting that heart rate up. Ooh, and if you're like me and you forgot to hit your watch, make sure you hit it because there's nothing more sad and infuriating than doing a nice workout and not seeing those rings close. You feel me? Woo, keep that breath. Whew. 15 seconds and we bring it to your mat. Triangle knee push-ups. One more rep each side. Bring it to the mat. Triangle push-ups. All right, triangle with the index finger and the thumb. We bring it down, we push it up. We're looking forward, deep belly button draws up and in. Option here is to reduce the range of motion. Maybe we're only coming right here. Keep that nice plank position. If we can, we're trying whew, to bring that chest pretty close to the mat. Gotta look at my time, we're halfway through. Deep breath, then get right back into it. Ten more seconds. Last five, then we go to those high knees. Come on, two more reps. Last one, Whew. bring it up. We got a high knees right into it. We're tapping that bench. Now, if you don't have the bench, don't worry about it. You're just doing a regular high knees, but this gives us a nice target. Land soft, get that heart rate up. You can also be right here. Just drive the knee up. It's up to you. This is still, this is challenging. But if you want that heart rate to get up just a little bit more, you're picking up the tempo. Or you're slowing it down. Final 15 seconds. Then we have squats to alternating leg lifts. Come on, last four. Three, two, one, feet go wide. We squat it down. Shift the weight into the left side, right foot abducts, then return. Squat, heavy in the heels. Shift it, right side, left leg abducts. So glutes, outer glutes, outer thighs. You also have to brace your core 
to help keep your balance. Don't tip over. Stay nice and upright. We're either booty to grass or parallel, wherever you can find the best mind-muscle connection. Drive it out. Come on, 15 seconds, we got this, and we get a minute to recover. Last one, recover. One minute to recover, all right, block three. Let me go down the list. <laughs> Long jumps to back shuffle is exercise one. Oh gosh, okay, so we're starting at the back of your mat. We jump all the way forward, we shuffle back. Option here, take three monster walks and then shuffle back. After that, inchworm, bend the knees. We walk it out high plank, then we walk it back in. Your option is to release the knees down and then walk it back in. You can also just bring it back to that incline mountain climber if that feels better. After that, we hold the plank for a glute lift knee to elbow. Right here, glute lift, same knee, same elbow. Glute lift, same knee, same elbow. Option, bird dog, tabletop position. After that, ooh, side plank, leg reaches, bottom hip goes up, we bring it out. Option, knee goes down. Same thing, all right. We go in three, two, one. Long jumps to back shuffle. Land soft, back pedal. We really don't train this way as much as we should. Reset. Make sure there's nothing behind you, like a fake plant. We don't want to tip that over. Remember the option is to not, if you don't like jumping, you don't have to. You're doing this, monster walk, and then backpedaling. Halfway through, keep that form, you got it. Quality over quantity. We're here for a while, you and I. 15 seconds. Last one. Inchworm. Here we go. Walk it out. High plank. Deep belly button up and in. Walk it in. Don't bring it up all the way. Keep the gaze focused on the mat. When I start to bring my gaze up and down, it's just not good. I feel in control just looking at the mat. Focus on the task at hand. 30 seconds down, 30 seconds to go. When we reach this high plank, hold one second, then walk it back in, feel the engagement. Fifteen seconds. Last one. Now hold this high plank. Alternating glute, knee to elbow. So heel up, knee to elbow. Other side, heel up, knee to elbow. Keep a neutral low back. So don't let that low back dip. Keep drawing that belly button up and in. <laughs> Your option. Like I stated earlier, tabletop position. One leg at a time. This is still challenging. This is a little bit more challenging, but keep those shoulders over the wrist. Mind muscle connection over everything. If we're right here, come to the knees. We're right here, come to the knees. Ten more seconds, and then we hit a side plank variation on your left forearm. Last rep. All right, side plank leg lifts. Here we go. We're stacking the feet. Arm or leg goes out straight. We tap the right toe, bring it back to center. Option one, just knee in. But this lengthening the lever 
is a little bit more challenging. Now, like I stated before, the option, knee down, hand goes down. We're right here. Pick your poison. Come on, last final exercise of this third block, and then we get a recovery. 30 seconds down, 30 seconds to go. Keep this tempo. Bottom hip is lifted, you got it, come on. 15 seconds. It's burning for me too. Come on, three more reps. Three, two, and one. <laughs> Recover. Nice job. All right, block four. We're using it and utilizing our bench. Okay, first one of the day. Incline burpee to bench jumps. So we're right here, incline position. Jump back, jump forward. Jump on that bench, bring it down. Option, step it up instead of jump. Option one, now if you don't have that bench, we're just walking it out walking it in, calf raise or jump squat. That's your first exercise. Exercise two, ooh, step downs. Left side only, or excuse me, right side only first. We tap it down, we bring it up. Option, if you don't have a bench, we're going to single leg deadlifts. After that, tricep dips. We're right here, just like so. Option, come to a chaturanga push-up on the knees. Exercise four, shoulder decline push-ups. We're right here, knees on the bench. We're in a decline position to target the shoulders. Option here, I don't coach this very much, but we're maintaining that pike position and targeting the shoulders. All right, we start incline burpees to bench jumps, one minute. So that's your hardest variation. I'll do it one more time. Option two, if you don't wanna jump, if you have a chair, do an alternating step up, one leg at a time. If you don't have that bench, we're right here, doing a calf raise or stepping it out, you can do a jump squat or a calf raise, it is up to you. Halfway through, 30 seconds. When we land, we gotta keep those knees protected. They've gotta stay behind those toes. If they're not, bring it to a step up. Last one. Next exercise, step downs. Right foot stays planted. We go three, two, one. Barely tap the toe, drive it up. A little different from a step up. Option one, you can use this hand for more guidance. Option two, you're on the ground and you are doing those single leg deadlifts. Woo, have fun with that. Now we can let that left foot rest a little bit more if needed, but this is more challenging. Try to barely tap that toe on the ground, drive through the heel. We're over halfway through. It's burning, come on. This one is one of the most challenging glutes and hamstring exercises because it takes the most control. Drive it up, slight hinge forward. Five more seconds, one final rep. We flip it around, tricep dips, one minute. Now, if you don't have this bench, you're doing a chaturanga push-up. That just means elbows in tight. When you do your push-up on the knees or off the knees, it is up to you. Drive, exhale. All right, here's the option. Y'all keep it with those bench tricep push-ups. Here's a visual for the tricep push-ups. Elbows in tight. That's gonna hit the triceps. Woo, all right, keep going. Oh my, okay, we're halfway through. Then we come to those shoulder decline push-ups. Knees on the bench, or you come into a pike variation on the ground, and it's gonna hit the shoulders a little bit more. I usually don't cue that, but this is actually a great exercise to strengthen the shoulders. Last rep, 
All right, get into position. Gotta bring my timer with me. One minute. Set up first. All right, elbows still staying behind the shoulders. So this is one option. Give it about 30 seconds. And if it doesn't feel challenging enough, actually this is a little bit more challenging. Butts up in the air. And you really challenge the shoulders this way. I mean, front, rear, <laughs> middle. Just make sure you're still not bringing those elbows directly to the side. We wanna keep them slightly back. Exhale as we drive, come on. Final 15 seconds. Keep this tempo. We can do it, 10. Last five, four, three, two, and recover. I'm dripping sweat, all right. We got two more blocks. First one, easy, alternating reverse lunges. Strengthening the hamstrings and the glutes, heavy in the heel, option, reduce your range of motion. Then we have squats and an in and out jump. So we're trying to hold on to this ISO squat, out and in, out and in. Your option is to bring it up, then bring it down. Then we have incline pop squats, really targeting the legs this round. We're right here, option, same thing on the ground. And then, all right, we have bench hop overs. So we're right here. All right, I'm gonna give you a different view. Gotta move your stuff off to the side. We jump side to side. Now, if you have a chair, you're just grabbing the edge of the chair and doing this with the edge of the chair. Now, if you don't have it, you're doing repeaters on one side. All right, get into position. We start with reverse lunges in three, two, one. In the heel, we're not only going down, but we're going back and down. And make sure you alternate legs in between. You can bring the opposite hand up. Now that helps me with balance a little bit. Another option is to not go as low. Reducing the range of motion, that's what I mean. We're only going a quarter of the way, instead of all the way down. Also, see right now I'm on this balance beam. That challenges my balance a little bit more. But if I widen my base, it's still challenging but it doesn't challenge my core as much. So that's another option. We got options today, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, keep up the tempo. After this, we're trying for an ISO squat in and out jumps, but if we need to, you can just bring it to in and out squats. Five more seconds. ISO squat in and out jumps, let's go. One minute. The booty's gonna come up just a little bit on the way in, but try to keep it down. Whew. Option, all the way up, all the way down, or you're just stepping it out, stepping it in. Do what works for you, this is your time. You get to make that call. How you feeling today? Whew. Keep that breath. Oh, I got sweat in my eye. Come on, 30 seconds. Heavy in the heels, light on the toes. Land soft. Knees driving out, they're not caving in. Let's keep you safe today. Come on, fight for every single rep. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, incline. Pop squats, all right, we're right here. Feet go wide, we lift. <sighs> lift. Option, if you don't have that bench, we're right here. We're stepping it out, stepping it in, lifting the chest. <sighs> we can even step it out, step it in on the incline. <sighs> we have 30 seconds, and then we're gonna challenge ourselves. This will be your last cardio interval for a while. The last block is on the ground. We're hitting abs. So after this, remember we have those bench hop overs. If you have a sturdy bench, you can hop it directly over. But if you don't, if you just have a chair, you're holding onto the edge of the chair, chair, 
Back of it's leaned up against the wall. All right, bench hopovers, let's go. I'm gonna show you one way, I gotta turn around so I don't hit my bench, so I don't hit my stuff. Make sure everything is out of the way. So we're right here, or you're grabbing the edge of your chair, reducing the range of motion. You can increase the range of motion, land soft if you don't have a chair, repeaters one side. You choose. I'm gonna stick with this way so y'all don't have to see <laughs> my butt. <clears throat> Come on, 30 seconds. Keep that breath. Let the weight shift into the hands. My shoulders are burning, come on. Fifteen. Five, four, three, two, one, recover. So block number six. We're on the ground. All right. Whew. First up is a side crunch. Knees go off to the right. Whoa. I just accidentally called 911. That's not good. Hands behind the head. We crunch it up, bring it down. One minute there. Then we have reverse crunches, just targeting the lower abdominals. Tap in the heels. Exercise three, bicycle crunches. Adding the upper and lower body element. Exercise four, now this is the most challenging. Power sit up. Option for that, double crunch. Shorten the lever. Grab your drink of water, we have 10 seconds. All right, so go ahead, lie onto the mat. Knees go off to the right. We have reverse crunches. Let's go ahead and begin. Exhale, hollow it out on the way up. So we're hurting, hitting and not hurting. Well, kind of, it's burning. We're hitting the transverse abdominals by drawing the deep belly button up and in. We're hitting the rectus abdominals, those six pack abs that we see on the front layer. And we're also hitting the obliques. Now, if you're not a fan of hitting obliques, just bring the knees up more at a diagonal. If we bring the knees all the way to the ground, That'll hit the obliques a little bit more. This will still hit them, but we'll hit more at the front of the core instead of the sides. So it's up to you. <laughs> my left knee uh, can't go all the way in because that's just my anatomy. We gotta do what we gotta do. All right, we have 10 seconds, and then we hit the lower abdominals. Here we go, last two reps. All right, bring it down. Hands go on the ground, it's just lower. Tap the heels, tap the heels. Deep belly button up and in. Initiate the movement from the lower abdominals. Now we're pressing the low back into the mat. So if you have a lordotic spine, keep that mind muscle connection. Press the low back into the mat. That will get rid of any pain, it should. If it still doesn't, hands go in support of the sacrum area. I am cueing this because after pregnancy, I really had to battle a pretty big lordotic spine. So I have to remind myself of that all the time. So just a little reminder, we can make things work. We got 20 seconds and then we hit my favorite bicycles. Now we're really gonna have to pace ourselves with those bicycles because after that, we have our most challenging core exercise variation. All right, five more seconds, two more reps. Hold the knees in, hands go behind the head. We reach the leg long, we twist. Reach the leg long, twist. Opposite elbow reaches for the opposite knee, but you're not just touching. This isn't it. We have to twist from the upper bodies. Option, release one heel at a time. This hits the same exact muscle group. We're just shortening the lever. Keep that breath. You're here, whoa, well, you're here or you're here. You get to choose. Which one do you get better engagement on? Ask yourself that. Just because you can do this, doesn't mean we always should. Ask yourself, where am I feeling it here? And where am I feeling it here? Go which one feels better for you. Better engagement, better mind-muscle connection. Not which one is easier. <sighs> Come on, we have about five seconds and then we go to those power sit-ups. Three, two, 
one, power sit-ups, arms go long. Here's your challenging variation. Ooh. And here's your option, double crunch. Tap the heels, upper lower, tap the heels. Now for the power sit-ups, we can let the legs rest on the floor. That's cool. But if you want to feel even more of a challenge, which I know some of you do, heels are lifted. But make sure that low back is pressing into the mat and that deep belly button is drawing up and in. 30 more seconds, you choose. Come on, 15 seconds, keep this tempo. I know we're feeling challenged and uncomfortable. This is where we change, come on. Two more reps. Two and one. Recover, grab that drink of water. We are officially at your halfway point. This next round's gonna fly by. We're doing the exact same thing. Going through the list again. So, going to, back to block one. Jump ropes, incline mountain climbers, incline push-ups, step ups, alternating. If you don't have that bench, you know the options, come to the knees or a reverse lunge. Oh, I'm not gonna demo again. I have to conserve my energy to just get through this bad boy. Ooh, so come on up. All right, this time, instead of alternating, we're warm. So this is not your warm up block anymore. We're gonna keep it up, get it up a notch if we can. This time, both legs, jump ropes. We go in three, two, one, let's go. Let's continue that breath though, like we did when we warmed up. Inhale throughout the rib cage. You're filling the entire rib cage up, forward, sides, backwards. Exhale, engage the transverse abdominals. Deep belly button up and in. Nice. Now let's add those arms. We're forward. Elbows in tight. Now let's reverse the circles of the arms. Go back. We're halfway through, 30 more seconds. And then we come to incline mountain climbers. Final 15 seconds, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Get into your plank. Shoulders over the wrist. Deep belly button draws up and in. Head reaches forward. We go. If we can, we're trying to pick up the tempo this round. Or you can slow it down. It is up to you. This way, the slower I go, the more core engagement I get. And the faster I go, obviously the higher my heart rate gets. So what do you want out of this workout today? Find it, reach for it, challenge yourself. Final 10 seconds, and then we hit those incline push-ups. Now, if you don't have this bench, you're coming to the knees or off the knees. Here we go, hold the plank. We go in three, two, one. Shift the upper body forward. Elbows back, 45 degree angle. I'm gonna show you what a 45 degree angle is. This is 90. This is, this is in all the way. This is 45 degrees. That's where we wanna be. I swear, I say that all the time. And then I see the members at Orange Theory being like, oh, Jillian Michaels said to do it now. I'm gonna listen. Like, I've been preaching that for, y'all just don't listen to me. <laughs> so hopefully y'all are better than my peeps at my local Orange Theory. Love them to death. And oh my gosh, I miss them so much. But we got this together, come on. 15 seconds. Come on, final 10. Come on, one more rep, then we go to alternating step ups. Let's hit it. If you don't have this bench, you're coming to those reverse lunges. Driving through the heel. 
stepping it down. Drive through the heel. Step it down. I cannot break my iPad. Cannot afford another one. <sighs> Not while being unemployed. Come on, let's keep going. Gyms are shut down in my area right now. So if you're watching this in a few months or a year from now, this is during the COVID-19 pandemic. So I'm just pumping out videos, one each day for y'all to keep us nice and strong and healthy. 30 more seconds. <sighs> Dry through the heel. Don't get sloppy. This is what I see all the time. That number, knee going over the toes. Just take the extra time. I need y'all to be safe and careful. Mind, muscle connection and form. Come on, five more seconds. One more rep. Recover, 60 seconds. We're going back to block two. All right, it's a fun one. Pop squats to rotation. Remember, right here, jump. Right here, jump. After that, triangle knee push-ups. Making the triangle with the hand, what's up? Right here, elbows stay at that 45 degree angle. Push it up, we're on the knees. After that, bench tap high knees. We're right here. This time we're picking up the pace. And if that bench is too high, mine's kinda high. Use your hand as a goal to try to hit every time. After that, squat to alternating leg lift. We'll slow it down. Work on hamstrings, booties, outer thighs. 20 seconds, grab that drink. Block two, we've done this before. Pop squats to rotation in three, two, one. Let's go, one minute. This is where we get the heart rate up. After this, we have a strength exercise focusing on the upper body and the core. But right now, here's your chance to get the heart rate up. Let's see what mine is. 163. You control the intensity of this workout. We should feel challenged. We should feel uncomfortable. We're holding on to it. If ever you feel out of control, stop. Take a break. Hit pause. Take a breather. Take a drink of water. When you feel recovered, come back. We always wanna feel in control at all times. 10 more seconds. One more rep each side. Triangle push-ups, let's go. Oh, I lost my hair thing, so that's good. Triangle with the hands, let's go. We're here for one minute. I gotta get my iPad with me, y'all keep it there. Nice plank position on the knees. Whoa, stopwatch, there we go. Head reaches forward. Look, I was looking down at my hands, hinging from the neck. I do that all the time. Bad habits die hard, right? Takes a lot of repetitions, thousands of repetitions to break a bad habit. So we're looking forward, a couple of feet in front of our hands, not doing what I was just doing. Learn from my mistakes. Come on, 10 more seconds. Then we go to high knees. Come on, one final rep. Bring it up, bench high knees, let's go. We're right here, tapping the bench. Now, if that feels too high, if you have really short legs like I do, we're right here. And if you don't have a bench, you're definitely right here. Option, just bring it back to that alternating jump rope, coming off the heel one at a time. If you don't like jumping, we don't have to. We're getting the heart rate up right here. Back to that uncomfortable feeling. I'm in it, 170. Puts me like high 80s of my percentage of max heart rate. It's hard to talk when I'm there. So I'm gonna shut up, lance off, 15 seconds. Next up, squat to alternating leg lift. Three, two, one. Squat it down, slow it down. Abduct, squat back and down. Abduct. Keep 
keep the upper body straight up and down. Don't lean away. That takes the outer thighs and outer glutes completely out of it. Stay upright. Nice, come on. Keep this tempo. Big squeeze as we drive out with the heel. Outer heel drives. Over halfway through. After this exercise, we get to recover. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, recovery. Nice job. Grab that drink. Next up, block three. Let's get more challenging. All right, we have those long jumps to back shuffles. Option monster walk, shuffle it back. That's your first minute. Second minute, inchworm. Walk it out high plank, walk it in. Option release the knees and go a little bit slower. Then we have a plank glute lift to mountain climber, knee to elbow. So one up, knee goes in, we're in a high plank or you can come to a quadruped tabletop position, same thing. And then we hit that side plank with leg reach. This time I'll be facing this way because it'll be on the right forearm since we did the left arm last. All right, first exercise, long jump to back shuffle. Let's hit it. Minute, this is our third block. Stay with me, four minutes of work. Four minutes to challenge yourself. One minute to fully recover. Remember, it's not just four minutes of cardio. It's four minutes, cardio and strength. This is our minute to get the heart rate up. And then we'll recover, bring it down. Your option, monster walk. Get rid of that jump. Back shuffle. Make sure these plants are out of the way. Also, how many of you have accidentally called 911 on your iPhone or your watch? I'm just not looking forward to this. I'm watching the window. Make sure no one comes to my door. Whew. Pure accident. I don't know. I have fat wrists, I guess. I don't know. All right, inchworm, let's go. Enough of me talking. High plank. Walk it in. All right, pace yourself. Form, mind muscle connection over everything. Keep looking down. I don't like, I personally hate looking down, looking up. So keep the gaze focused down. It just makes me feel way more in control. And I can keep that engagement. Focus on the task at hand. High plank hold, walk it in. Exhale, inhale to walk, exhale, hold, walk it back in, 15 seconds. Then we hold that high plank. Final 10, walk it out, hold this high plank, draw it up and in, alternating glute leg lift, knee to elbow, right, then in, left, up, then in. This is a small controlled movement. So to hit the glutes, we don't have to bring it all the way up here. This is what I see all the time. The, the belly will dip. Do not let the belly dip. Keep a neutral low spine. Squeeze the glute hard as we lift, then bring it in. Option. Man, this is still challenging. Whew. You can always bring it right here if you need more of a recovery as well. Do y'all see this sweat dripping off my face? Probably not, because the lights are really high. But it is. <laughs> I have a new mat on the way as well. So, I know, I know, come on. 10 more seconds and we go to that side plank on the right side. Here we go, last rep. All right, right side, I'm gonna switch it around so you can see me, you may want to as well. Right forearm goes down, lift up the hips, all right. Kick the foot out, draw it in. Option one, shorten the lever, knee in. Option two, 
come down to the legs. We can bring it out and in, or continue that knee in, maybe even tap in the toe. All right, I need to see my iPad. Whew. Keep this tempo, come on. Over halfway, 30 seconds. Bottom hip up, re-engage. Shoulder over the wrist, keep it there. 15 seconds. 10, eight, six, five, four, three, two, and release. All right, next up. Whew. All right, we have three more blocks and we're done. Final three blocks. All right, we're going back to those burpee to bench jumps. Incline variation, hands start on the bench. We jump it back, jump it in, jump the feet onto the bench, land soft, knees behind the second and third big toe. Option, instead of the jump up on the bench, do an alternating step up. If we don't have a bench, we're walking it out, walking it in, cat raise or jump squat. Then we have those step downs on the left leg if you don't have the bench. Single leg deadlifts, left side. Tricep dips on the bench, or elbows in, chaturanga push-ups, on or off the knees. And then we have a shoulder decline push-up, knees on the bench, or you can bring it to the toes for a more challenging variation. I'll go there this round. We're bringing to that pike push-up on the bench. 10 seconds, and we go. All right, we have burpees to bench jumps, incline variation, let's go. One minute, final round. If we're jumping, land soft. Knees gotta stay behind those toes. If not, this is what we're doing. We step up on the right side next time, we'll hit the left side. And if you don't have that bench, here's what you're doing. We're right here, jumping or stepping it back, jumping or stepping it in, calf raise, or a jump squat. But if we can, we're landing soft. Come on, we're halfway through. Control the step down. Takes a lot of power. You can do it. Final 15 seconds. It's not about how many reps we can get in but quality reps. Oh, come on, last one. Everyone bring it to their bench. Step down, left leg stays planted. Three, two, one. Barely tap the toe. You can use one hand to brace yourself on a wall. Try to keep those hip points square. Now, if you don't have the bench, what you're doing, single leg deadlifts. Focusing on the balance, hit point square. All right, these step downs, man. Ladies and gents, they are hard. Keep tension in the glutes and hamstrings. Barely tap the toe. The slower we go on this eccentric phase, the more challenging it becomes. Slightly lean forward. Press it up. Keep this tempo. Come on, 15 seconds. Then we hit those tricep dips or chaturanga push-ups. Last one. Nice work, flip it around, tricep dips. One minute, we go. All right, so we're right here. Keep the elbows in tight to the body, elbows pointing backwards. So right now we're in a chair position. This, if we extend the legs, becomes a little bit more challenging. If you wanna make it more challenging, bring the feet up, maybe even up here to challenge yourself even more. But we have to get creative with what we use. Now, if you don't have a bench, you're doing those chaturanga push-ups, elbows in tight, targeting the triceps. All right, we're 30 seconds down, 30 seconds to go. After this, we continue the push with a shoulder decline push-up. This time you can do knees on the bench or feet on the bench. I'm gonna do feet this time. Or remember, bring it to that pike push-up. It's like you're in a downward facing dog, adding the push-up, it targets the shoulders, the delts a little bit more. Come on, one more rep. All right, shoulder decline push-ups, let's go. This is more challenging now because we're increasing our lever than a traditional pike push-up on the ground. So we're right here, push. Right here, push. Now if we need to, knees on the bench. Right here. You can use a couch. 
Everyone has something they sit in, most likely, so you can use that. Find your position, and then we go 30 seconds, y'all. Then we get a recovery. Ah. Exhale to push. I did it again. Look, look a little above your hands. 15 seconds. Belly button draws up and in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Should have brought a towel. I've sweat my eyes. Give me one second. Okay. Two more blocks. Two more blocks and we are done. This is gonna be your final one with any cardio. Remember that final block, just abs. So, one minute, block five, reverse lunge. We alternate right and left. Then we have those ISO squat holds out and in. So, but if you need to raise it up, re raise it up. Then we have an incline pop, uh, pop jack, pop squat, whatever you wanna call it. Um, incline variation. If not, we're doing it on the floor. Then we have those bench hopovers. Either this time, I'm gonna move my basket and jump over side to side, but you don't have to actually jump over. You can reduce the range of motion, grab your chair and do that. Or we're doing repeaters on the other side. All right, there we go. Okay, here we go. We go in five, four, three, two, one, reverse lunge. We're getting right into it. We're not hitting that cardio yet. That's next, right now. We're fo focusing on strengthening glutes, hamstrings, and quads. Now, I find that if I'm upright, my quads get more involved, which is fine. But if you really wanna isolate or hit the hamstrings and glutes a little bit more, if you hinge the upper body forward, I find that the glutes and hamstrings do most of the work and the quads kind of dissipate a little bit. Pick your poison. Neither is right nor wrong. It's your, your time, your variation. Final 15 seconds. Just a little tidbit. Next up, ISO squat hold in and out jumps. We go in three, two, one. We hold that squat out and in. Option one, we step. Option two, you can bring it up and then sink it down. This is the most challenging. This is still challenging. And this is still challenging too. Pick your version. We're ending block five with three minutes of cardio. Getting the heart rate up. So we really have to pace ourselves here. Remember that final block is just a core, an ab circuit. So we're gonna push ourselves right here. I know we're tired. I know we're fatigued, but we have a little over two minutes left of this block. And then we come to the mat. Whew. We got an incline pop jacks in three, two, one. Come on, in a plank, feet go wide, lift the chest. Option, step it back. Step it in, if we have that mat. Stepping it out, stepping it in, lift the chest. Or you can jump, it's up to you. Thirty seconds down, thirty seconds remaining. And then our final minute of this block, we're gonna challenge ourselves more than we have the entire class so far. You're gonna try to maintain a tempo that you can hit those bench hopovers with for one entire minute, landing soft. Always remember quality over quantity, but we will pick it up. Make sure your water bottles are out of your way. Here we go, bench hopovers in three, two, one, let's go.
Your option is, we're bringing it down here, reducing the hops. If you don't have that chair, repeaters, left side is grounded, right knee goes in and out. 30 seconds down, 30 seconds to go. Deep breath. If it got away from you, come on, let's go. Keep this tempo, 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. All right. One minute to recover. Final four minutes. Four minutes is a core blast. Abdominal focus. We actually get to lie on the mat. We're bringing the heart rate back down. Go ahead, grab that drink of water. Bring it on down to the mat. Nice work, but we're not done yet. Let's burn out those abs. Strengthen the abs. Four minutes. And you have to, because the first one is a one-sided movement. We can't leave lopsided. Oh, man. Oh, y'all, we're doing good. 15 seconds and we go. All right, go ahead, get into position. Side crunches, knees go off and over to the left. Hands behind the head. We go in three, two, one. One minute right here. Exhale, hollow out the belly. Remember, we can break those legs. Instead of all the way down to the left, we can break them at an angle, if that feels better. Big squeeze. Really make it count. Belly button up and in. Over halfway through, come on, we're almost there. Next up is our reverse crunches. Final 15 seconds, keep this tempo. Five. Four, three, two, one. Upper body rest. Lower body does the work. Lower abdominals. That's what we're focusing on now. Low back is pressing into the mat. Knees go into the chest. So you can do exactly what you did the first time around. But if you want more of a challenge, lengthen the legs. Control. Control. Hold at the bottom for count of one second before bringing it up. We are not using momentum here. Engage the lower abdominal to lift it up. If we need to, keep it in the knees. We're over halfway through. We are entering your final two minutes. Whew, second to last minute. We have a minute of bicycles and then one minute of power sit-ups. Five. Four and three, we go to bicycles. Two, one and hold. We rotate, really twist from the upper body. Twist, sides of the waistline. If your elbow does not touch the knee, that's okay. I'd rather you not do this. It's not just about touching, it's about twisting. So mine are not touching when I really twist the shoulders, the thoracic spine. Keep it up. Thirty seconds down. Thirty seconds to go. The slower you go with these, sometimes the more challenging it becomes. Quality over quantity. We got it. In ten seconds, we hit our final sixty seconds of work, and it it is those power sit-ups. We go in three. Two, one, all the way down, drive it up, power. Three, two, one, drive it up, power. Three, two, one, option, double crunch, control the eccentric. 
double crunch, control the eccentric. It's up to you. You can even hover those feet off the ground. But my preferred method is letting them rest. Whew. Come on, this is it. Your final 30 seconds, and then we are done. 30 seconds of perfect repetitions. You got this. This is it, y'all. Final 15. Keep this tempo. We got it. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, nice work. Knees in towards the chest. Oh, make little circles with the knees. And then go counterclockwise with the knees. Nice work. Let the right foot rest on the mat. Externally rotate the hip open. Outside the left ankle comes over the right quad. Just draw it in. We're coming into a figure four stretch. Dorsi flex at the ankle. Keep this active. Gently press against the left of your thigh on the inhale. As you exhale, hug the knee in. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, keep the legs exactly where they are. Bring the hands out to a T and then give yourself a little spinal twist, keeping those figure four legs. That left knee, drive it out. Don't let it collapse inwards. If you drive the left knee towards the front of the room, you'll feel it more in that left glute, left hip. Bring it up to center, let's switch sides. Right outside of the ankle, over the left quad, draw it on in, pull it in, dorsiflex, gently press against that right inner thigh on the inhale and the exhale, draw it in. How was that for body weight only? Okay, I started my clock late and we have, let's go ahead and add that twist. Let me hit end. Oh. Okay, 563 calories. Average, average heart rate for me, one, five, seven. I have a naturally higher heart rate though. My range, 115 to 179. All right, hug the knees in, soles of the feet go to the sky, little happy baby pose, massage the spine right and left. Hug the knees in, give yourself a few rolls up, massaging the spine. And let's fling the legs off over to one side. Just come into a tabletop position. Nice, inhale, walk it forward. As we exhale, let those hips just rest heavy. And then sway the hips left and right, very slowly. The next time the left hip meets the ground, hold, pause, look over the right shoulder, feel in the left obliques, left side body. And then switch sides, right hip reaches towards the ground, look over the left shoulder. Bring it back to center, let's hit puppy pose. Uh, I'm gonna show you on the ground first and then show you my uh, preferred method. So keep the hips over the knees, walk the hands out, and then start to let the chest melt towards the mat. So we're really hitting the chest, the upper back, and the lat muscles. Now if you have a bench, this will intensify the stretch. But you'll still feel it on the ground as well. Start to frame the, the head with both hands. Walk the hands back up six inches. Inhale, curl the toes under. Exhale, deep belly button up and in. Let's send it up, back and up, can't talk, to downward facing dog. Pedal out the heels left and right. Hold the right heel, feel the stretch along the right back leg. And switch sides, left heel goes down. Look up at the hands, walk the feet in. Once you walk it in, Feet go wide, heels in, toes out. Grab, out, grab opposite elbow, opposite hand. A little ragdoll pose. All right, here's where we get fancy. Let's take a quarter turn to the left, bend at the left knee, release the right heel, right top of foot. We're coming into a runner's lunge. Inhale, right arm reaches up and over. Oh. And when you're ready, send that left leg back, straightening the legs, hinge from the hips, hitting the back of the left hamstring. Nice work. Let's just bring it back and switch legs. Right foot comes forward, runner's lunge, right side, inhale, left arm reaches up and over. And as we exhale, send it back. Whew. 
<laughs> you may want a wall to help you balance. All right, bring both hands to the inside of the right foot, curl the left toe under, and then just walk it forward. Inhale, flat back as you exhale, forward fold. Root to rise, reverse swan, dive it up. Inhale, arms reach up. Grab a hold of the left wrist with the right hand. Exhale, side bend up and over to the right. Really ground through that left foot. Inhale up, exhale, switch sides. Inhale up as we exhale, open the chest, draw the elbows slightly behind the rib cage, chest opener. Inhale up, exhale, open the chest. Let's give that right arm a hug across the body. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Oh, and other side. All right, one final stretch. Let's hit, the, let's hit the quads a little bit more. So brace yourself with one hand against the wall. Right heel in towards the right glute. Just feel that stretch along the right hip, right quad. Feels good. And when you're ready, just switch sides. All right, that was a lot of stretching. So if you want any more stretching, check out my yoga and stretching playlist. Whatever you feel like you wanna open up, check it out. We'll get ya. Um, Y'all, great job. That was challenging. One hour of body weight workout, alternating, heart rate, peaks and valleys, strengthening. Great job. Um, I have a queue of workouts I have in the mix for y'all, but if you wanna see something that I haven't created yet, just comment in the comments below. Let me know how you did today. Like, subscribe, and have a wonderful rest of the day.